Hello, everyone. Right. <laughs> I'm away. There we go. Sorry, you're just going to see the paperwork side of it for a minute. How was everyone this evening? Everyone good? Good. Just give me one moment, please. Everyone good? Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. Wow. There we go. So that. Oh, hello, Karen. So, this weekend, hello, hello everyone. Uh, this weekend is our virtual retreat weekend. Hybrids, uh, the installs coming in a few weeks. Um, so we are doing the 7 p.m. Friday night strap along. And you have me. Ah. Those who are not doing the virtual retreat, this class will have a uh, custom kit, as our usual Friday nights do. So, so far, these are the two projects we have made in the retreat. Just a bit of a quick snippy there. And then to show you some of our Nautical Dreams products that we have released, if you've been too busy to see the website, which is completely unsimilar, can we all work? We know that at Scrap of Fantasies. Uh, let me just grab these. No, your dinner's done just a bit busy so oh hello 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 just as a heads up this is on uh mom's youtube channel and mine so it's a bit of aqua right. so uh today we released lots of products some of it was already there for the retreat goers as extra some of it wasn't the stencil was not and then we've got uh, craft words and other cut apart word sheet, some fussy cuts. I think this was the retreat fussy cut. It is the retreat fussy cut. Some more fussy cuts. Lots and lots and lots released for this range. It's nautical dreams because it is, I think it will be a dream to create with. Um, I had a look at the papers real quick before I hopped on. Um, and I've been packing kits. So. Although I didn't pack this um, this virtual retreats kit, as we discussed in the Zoom, which does put me a bit out of the firing line when things are wrong, which I uh, do appreciate wholeheartedly, full of it. So the chipboard we also released today, some of this isn't Nautical Dreams, some of it is. Got a fair bit, so like we've got this lovely fence mum and i've been testing how far we can engrave chipboard and we've got two really nice light houses i think they're sold separately though and then we've got our oh you can't really see that the plastic we've got our ship ah, so yeah and then there's a net and like an actual nautical dreams pack so lots of chipboard release today hello laura YouTube. we have lots and lots and lots of chipboard released and let's begin with tonight's class now you ladies said that you wanted something simple or something interactive or both for tonight's class which i think we could possibly do because interactive does not have to be difficult that makes sense. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, that's hello to everyone else. Well, also, uh, she knows everything. So, hello, Karen, Sandy, Di, Jeanette, Raquel, Dee, Margaret, Deborah, Diana, and Laura. And Diane. All right, so there we go. Let's get started. Some of these, this is just beautiful paper. Let's see. So, Mum, I know, has already created with the lighthouse. I know that. I don't think she's created with these 
these waves could actually be really cool. Nautical Dreams piece of paper three, I think, would probably be one of my favorites. Just one. Just one. Hmm. And then just looking. Is there any piece of paper that no one knows exactly? Oh, hello. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, oh, hello. Hello. Hope to watch all the classes tonight. Been up since 3 a.m. Oh, dear. That's, that's a long day, Robin. Long, long day. So, is there any piece of paper that everyone, like, is anyone wanting to use? I know this one here was suggested, our rice paper, was suggested in our Zoom. And I'm just thinking, what I could use. Sorry, I'm pulling out bits and pieces. So where is our fussy cut box? Let's see. Okay, so we've got one way. Have we already used a way? Oh, mum's already used a partial of the wave. Where's the other bit of the wave? There's the other bit of the wave. I think the wave will look nice. Here, here. Let's see. I'm not big on fussy cutting, so I try not to use too many fussy cuts in my pages. Hello, Bronnie. Thank you. I've got my first order from your company and thank you for the free items. I can't wait to use them. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, honestly, my little sister makes up the freebie pack. She loves to do it. It is like the one job in the business that you will hear no complaint from, from Amelia. She will just sit there for hours and make freebie packs for you all. I know it's blue on blue. Wash it. Move the bits of him. And we go for one minute. If we have a like a horizontal pocket and then our title here horizontal flip up and our title here and then ooh, this could look nice anyone too finicky about the blue on blue situation I quite like it no, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. But I think it looks really cool. Okay. Um, I'm not really sold on the white though. I think the craft might look better. I was thinking this piece, but when you fold it over, it doesn't look particularly nice uh, because it's got the fussy cut. But it just looks a bit more interesting than what I bargained for. So maybe this one here and we have the fan on so of course we've got rice paper on the desk so we're going to struggle with the fan yeah love it. excellent yes the blue is beautiful love the wave paper a couple of the wave. yes that's what i'm thinking modeling paste is probably going to be our friend tonight well, hello mary uh and also think we're going to feather some rice paper and make ourselves a simple interactive page because i know a lot of you Get a little bit scared of interactives or they seem to always get very very loaded very quickly doesn't need to be right so let's cut out our background it's a piece of paper three uh, from nautical dreams i'm going to cut it to 12 by 12 inches just a heads up i do not have a scribe to note so if you need any measurements repeated please ask in the comment section um yep 
Friday night. It's unusual for us not to have a scribe on our Friday night lives, but uh, tonight it is the way it's going to be. Uh, we're going to keep our barcode strip too because that just looks beautiful. Now yeah, we've got here. Let's grab out our design board and stick them up there. I'm just going to cut though the pocket, which I know. So I'm pretty sure we have an option here. With our like clip that we're going to make, we can even make it so then we only fit a four by six photo on it, which would be four. I would probably make it four and three eighths by six and three eighths, so then I can have an eighth inch of wash around my photos just to stand out from what's going to be going on in the background, um, which means that the width would double so that'd be eight and six eighths which is eight and three quarters um for anyone who wants to do that math uh hello kim um but i don't know i think i would like a little bit i guess more room Mm, no, if we need more room, we'll paint it. We can paint something craft. We'll get it right. Home sweet home chipboard on the website. I can't find. Oh. Let me write that one down. I don't know if it is up on the website. Um, home sweet home. Chippy. I will see about that. We might have accidentally not forgot to click it to go live. I will make sure I look into it. Um, oh, hello, Karen. Right, so let's get started, shall we? So we've got this piece of craft, and like I said, we're going to cut our, our whip, and then we're going to do our height. I know. Moment. Oh, we'll do our length. That's the word, length. So we want it to be six and three eighths, which is the eighth for the halfway mark. And these, I don't really rely on cardstock. I know that sounds bad to be straight because it just. I've had some dealings with cardstock companies. I know that they work at a very high pace. So just checking that that is straight. Yep. Coming in and cutting. Like they have big massive machines that just go. Can't guarantee it. And then we're gonna do eight and three quarters the other way. And then so let's just whoop, simple. And grab out our school board. Right, and because our photo is going to be four inches, and then we've got the three apes around it, so four and three eighths. And I have folded it so then my muted side or my smooth side is on the inside, and my more textured side of craft is on the outside. That's okay, you missed the cutting side. So it is six and three eighths by eight and three quarters. Hold up. Actually, I think, oh, we might be able to do a notepad situation. One minute. I have an idea. Mum has a notepad. I have a dark blue pen. We can work through this. Well, not a dark blue pen. Black. Here we go. Dark blue would have been suiting, but I've lost it. So let's go for our craft piece one equals six and three eighths by eight and three quarters. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So that's our craft piece one. And let's just grab out a design board and turn off that big lights and you guys don't get blinded like I am. I'm sure that 
all of you have goals in life not well for the you that for the people that don't have to wear glasses don't have to i don't i have to say i'm not that um finicky about them anymore i do like the fact that i can um customize my face like you know i can add color to it without having to wear makeup every day it just comes naturally which is overall really quite nice i just yeah i'm not a makeup person I'm fully into that. and then there's our flippy there and i'll flip up because you know i think most of our beach photos in our family i know this for us is all horizontal photos and for some reason we only ever make nautical pages that have like portrait photos i don't know why so all like landscape photos so i think if we go for landscape it should suit most people's photos which is ideal and then let's just come in real quick and we'll do with our photo mats in a second actually we'll deal with them now because i think they're very important right so let's just come in so our white photo mats there is <laughs> yes 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 okay ah uh, understand a okay um and then so our photo mats which are going to be two of realistically we could do three because you've got that upper window so let's actually make it three sorry we haven't cut anything so it's all right and let's go so they're going to be six and one eighth by four and one eighth all in inches sorry I have to get my little doogie wackets. It's the one thing I've got to go in and add when I do the magazines. Yes, I see portraits as a selfie and landscapes as everyone. Exactly. Um, and, you know, we always have the whole entire family with us when we go to the beach, or at least the minimal of four, of four people. So our photos are always landscape. Um, which, once again, I don't know why we always make portrait pages of them. Right, so let's come in and actually flip this around so then we get this dealt with with ease i don't know if we're going to get it all out of one sheet i'll be completely honest our measurements aren't friendly to a one sheet wonder actually i don't want it because there'll be will be a few inches off but that's okay we'll work with it So we've cut that to our six and one eighth, and let's come into our four and one eighth. And we're going to cut two of those. Our third one is not going to be a hundred percent. Did I cut that out? Oh, I cut it out four and a quarter. Every time. One minute. Nine, one eight. Yeah, so across. So it's across and then up. And then we've got, so this piece here gets folded in half, but this is the six inch measurement and this is the eight and three quarter measurement right see little diagram okay one minute so we got our piece of craft and I cut it to six and three eighths by eight and three quarters. Yes. We then 
We'll get this. Don't worry. I've cheated people in math. Which I know doesn't really correlate, but here we go. We then score it. So our score line is green. We then score it at the four and one eighth inch mark. So from here to here is one is four and one eighth. From here to here, four one eighth inches. Bought it and we ended up with this piece. So it's six and three eighths, eight and three quarter, folded that four and one eighths. Yes. Cool. Beautiful. Right. And we did the apes because it will look nice. I know it's hard to see. So we only actually got two of those. And then the last piece, we're going to actually rip the edge off because it's not 100%. Oh. Grab our tearing ruler and it's coming. Rip that off. Yeah, sorry, four and three eighths, four and three eighths, four and three eighths. I personally don't like working in eights. It only is that we're working in them because it will look nice. That is all. Like, literally. Only reason to work in eights. Reasoning, it will look nice. That That is it. That is literally it. Yes, so four and three eights for the score line. Long week. Long, 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 long week. Right. Because our photos are going to be a very plain 6 by 4 Two of them will be. And then, where is that pen? Is a card stuff because our rich piece of white will be our journaling block. So, yep, we need a fair size for journaling. And the journaling block six and one eighth inches by. Oh, you're killing me. Three and three eggs. Just to confuse everyone. Well, hello, Cheryl. Right. Let's come in here now. that looks so nice and then we'll have this bit here here with our journaling and then we have this bit here with our photo Come and sit that one down, and now where did that rice paper go after all that madness? Right, here we go. So it goes dunt, dunt. You could put another two photos in here that'll just 
little square three by threes if you wanted. And then what I think we're going to come and do is with our rice paper. We also have this piece of wood. Mm, wood on wood is always a difficult one. Nope. Okay, so with our rice paper. Yeah, let's come in and feather it. Both sides. Of course the background. Yes, we could actually ink it, hey. Or, 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 where is that barcode of ours? Mm, or we could cut out the behind here and add it in up there, which I think would look better, the wood grain cut out and then add it up there. And then, okay, brain is working now. We're all good. The brain is on point. Let's go. Let's feather our rice paper. So we'll first do the split down the middle. Heavy Stevies come in. Pretty easy. Ah. And then let's just feather off our white border And then, because we'll have that there, and if we stick it down with white, you'll be able to see the pattern a lot more clearly. And then if we come in and we just, one second, let's cut a hole. I do things as my brain goes. I'm truly sorry. It's not the exact same way mum goes about things. I know she planned the whole page and then cut out the back, but I'm just a little bit more reckless some days. Actually, no, I've seen my mum do some pretty Frankenstein pages. We're reckless in different ways. Right, there we go. And then put that one down. Oh, and for any of you who haven't watched those classes, it just means that she's made a piece of, uh, made a scrap of page or a card when there hasn't been a full piece of cardstock. Just for all of you wondering what that would mean to Frankenstein a page. Means that she sticks pieces together to make a 12 by 12 surface or to make a card base so you know fun times there and we're just going in feathering that bit and then let's tear him come in and we put this piece down here and this piece up and then let's see what we need next is we need a title so that's our chipboard oh we have string this time around 
Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, and then even if we put that red there, because I think if we paint our um, if we paint our chipboard red for the tile that we're going to use, because a few options what are we thinking or we change it out for a lighthouse I don't know I think actually one lighthouse and then What title should we use? We could go full out and just go the nautical dreams one. I'm thinking of sticking it there. Or possibly here, but I don't think maybe seaside would work. And then well we're just having a look at that okay so our waves end about the three inch mark so we come in with our piece of paper my background piece I know I just removed the background so let's sit that lightly on top and just come in and we're gonna cut off about two and a half inches which equals nine and a half by 12 our background will be and i have a reason for this give me a moment go all covered and then if we grab our creative ruler we're just going to try and tear a little bit on the wood grain line it's not going to be exact and we're going to end up with three strips so we've got one Right. Hi, Cheryl. You don't have those chippies in your. Huh? You don't have the lighthouse? Or seaside? You sure? This is one's retreat box, isn't it? I thought you guys did have these. That's okay, Debbie. 
you sure your kit doesn't have it done? Just come and add that blue. Does everyone have the White House chippy? I thought you guys did. I don't know why I cut 30 or so or 40 of the White Houses then. If you don't, to be honest, I was just cutting what I was told when we made the kits. But I'm pretty sure you guys have it. Gonna lie. Oh, not there. It's just perfect. Okay, and then Uh, two and a half inches, Bronnie, off the, uh, sorry, two and a half inches off the bottom of our background. And we were left with three good grain strips that we ripped apart that are, okay, cool, excellent, right, yes. Got really worried there for a minute. Um, so our three good grain strips are, one oh you're gonna hate me and three eighths inches wide is the large one the next one is one and a half and one and a quarter so i just went with the wood grain because it looks natural but yes so Two and a half inches off your base from the bottom on your background piece to get your little pieces of wood. There you get. It also, it's going to take away some of the body to the page, which is good because it's getting a little bit heavy because it is an interactive one. And then I'm just thinking. maybe those and reckon like a little bit of gauze maybe hmm. okay this was the first time we scheduled a stream yard class just as a heads up so the streaming software so if it didn't go well that's okay we won't do it again because yeah don't want to cause anyone stress okay and then i think we might be good to paint I am thinking that we need like a colour like smooshed across, like either this Tuscan or maybe the desert where we just smush it coming out of the photo a little bit. Um, but we'll see once we get there. Right, let's get rid of our chippy cuts because we don't need those anymore. Oh, instead of the lighthouse, we could do a sailing boat. But I don't think it's as effective. What do you think? White House or Sailing Boat? Hmm. Maybe White House. 
Okay, Robin, you get some sleep. Sorry. Right. Let's come in now and get sticking. Slash moving. So we need to paint these two here. And we've got the red there so we can paint our tile cap red. I'm still not sold on the White House, I'll be completely honest. I think that's because I want to colour it in and I don't know if it will do it justice like. Unless we go for um that one actually that might be nice we'll see with the chipboard I'm not sold on the light house I'll be honest okay let's slide this bad boy out over here and we'll paint our chipboard last because that's what we'll do and we're going to build it from the beginning And the way we're going to do this is first we're going to stick our waves down and then, well, actually no, first we're going to stick this piece of rice paper down. Our three pieces of rice paper. And then we will go from there. And I do think we should distress the page. So let's just... Stop for a moment. Oh, we got volume on. That's good, Debbie. Like I said, it was the first one we scheduled. So if anyone did have did have like technical difficulties with video, which was unusual, let us know. As it is the first time of scheduling. Right. Okay. Let me stick that one there and let's grab our modeling paste, which we're going to kind of use as white paint today. And this one. Now, we're adding modeling paste to the back of our rice paper because it's going to make the pattern opaque and let it stand out on top of the wood grain. Otherwise, our rice paper would submerge into the wood grain, which I don't think it would actually look that bad. I think it would look quite nice but I want this to stand out a little bit more but if you guys want it to just like kind of submerge it's perfectly all right too so just come in over And then just kind of pushing it out so that it sticks down. Just kind of tear this one. Oh, okay, yeah, I can I can tell about Debbie. Thank you. Um, if you guys do have any packaging, like old packaging 
in your house from us just you can just chuck it in a box and put return to sender on it I don't know if it costs any money to do return to sender from the boxes we send you but like if it don't I highly suggest if it does uh, maybe wait until you can visit our magical store Right, there we go. Right. And then we come in. Make sure it's all the stuff down. There we go. So rice paper layer down. I know it's not 12 by 12 yet. That's okay. So now let's come in with building our wavy bits. We're going to actually stick our photo thing, like everything that goes around the photos up that way and let's stick our modeling paste there because we are still going to need it but we need to use our design board as more of a building block right now. So let's line our piece of paper up to there and I'm going to grab pair of scissors and maybe um, like another pair of scissors yep to hold it into place and then let's sit this one where we want it to go and put down actually going to stick with tape but just to let me know right I've got tape there and then oh, see, uh, let's add tape here yeah, yeah. is the disco finished well yeah the disco is finished the hang home oh, cool can you turn the exhaust fan off in the kitchen please Right. I think my stuff bit too close to the edge. Uh, we'll be pretty close. Right here. So let's add our blue piece of paper to the tip of the display. You're not going to see a real lot of it. That's okay. Come and cut that bit. Um, okay. See a bit better now. And then move that piece. And this is going to be, this is like our base bit. So we can come in and just lay that up at the top some modeling paste and then we're going to put a very thin layer of chippy strip in there and in and then put a little bit of modeling paste at the top. Oh, I've got modeling paste on my page. And I've removed my two scissors that were actually holding my page down. Now I've put the chippy strip in the modeling paste. 
So then I at least get that one mil high effect. Move from the background. There we go. And just come in and stick that down. Woo! Now it's okay if you don't have enough tape on the back of it because we're going to flip it over and like slide it all in. Oh, she mentioned it at paper. Yes, 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 yes. You guys can send back your recycled stuff. We enjoy it. I. I'm thrilled when I get recycled packaging. Really, like, super happy. Super, super happy. Right. Now let's come and do the next bit. So if we just come in now and get another layer of chippy strip. And our glue. And do a layer of glue. I'm not adding modeling paste to this one. And you'll see why in a minute. Go. Now, before we get too far, I'm just going to come in with our pellet knife, grab some of the modeling paste underneath this piece, and just spread it. See? Push it upwards. There we go. And it looks like wings. And then we're going to come, that's my parents' time. Huh? We're going to do this one over here. And then we can get on to the next bit. So this one over here. No I gate. I am gonna sit there and hold until he goes outside. And then we just come and we grab Modeling paste. Mm 
like we did earlier, just coming in and lifting some of it up. I know it seems odd and like a weird detail, but mm, I think it looks cool. Okay, making sure that's Toby top because this is the piece of resistance. This is the one where it can get stuffed up really easily. Right. And then, so let's. Well, let's make some height. This one. So we're just going to come in, and when we know it's going to be covered, we're going to add a fair amount of modeling paste. Doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over. I find applying it to the edge where it's going to be stuck more than the tip of the piece is better because when I do it to the tip of the piece, I get a little bit out of hand and I kind of go too far down, and that's worse because I get stuck to the design board then. Now, here we go. And then let's just come in. Put, up. Put more down. The modeling paste down, depending on how far you want the rice to be. This is going to be a very wet page. If you want to do this chippy strips, uh, you probably need about a stack of four to five at this point. I don't know where he is, sorry. He's in the shower. Oh, well, he's been in there a while then. Right. Now, we do have a little bit of modeling paste. So, like, we've got. So we did get a bit of modeling paste on our page when we did that. So what we're just going to do is we're going to make it look completely natural. Grab some of our modeling paste and we're just going to move some of it down. Make it kind of look like sea spray. And get the theme sign. Crap. Let me see this awesome page. You might. Oh wow! I love that. Oh. Please tell me you've been doing something else for the last hour. Yes, we've got all the other bits cut. Oh, that's okay. No, we only just made this in the last five minutes because, like, oh, they're home. Well, you know, I oh, wouldn't put it past you or me. Walk around for an hour and a half and then make the page in two minutes. Surprise! <laughs> More than a surprise moment. Right, so we've got... Let's put this down now so we can kind of see where we're going. Oh, thank you. I don't know if we need these bits. These are extremely thin glasses. I don't think we need them. 
all the flair. I think we just need the word seaside. I know it's going to be very simple in the end. And then if we grab... Uh, yeah, I made uh, pasta really quick when he because he didn't get home until six forty and he was starving. So I quickly six forty. Yeah, yeah, his piano was on over. His piano was on over. You're gullible, aren't you? You're gonna be an interesting parent. <laughs> yep. You've never parented a boy, have you? I don't plan on parenting anyone. Right, here we go. Well, and we've had an interesting conversation on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, something about Dad believing that the ladies open the parcels up before the weekend starts. Wow, well, hang on. Dad couldn't be trusted. That's because he's a man. Really? I think that's sexist. It is. Feeling discriminated and put upon, yeah? What are you? Right, let's come in and we've used this toucan, which is another brown, but it's a little bit closer to our craft piece, which is why we're painting our know, thing. And I'm using our stubby brush because just to add some of that texture. And then, oh, I do like. Yeah, we have been chatting, haven't we, Dee? Um, what do you guys think? I know it's going to be very simple. You're going to have, like, an interactive bit, and that'll be <laughs> the main feature. I am just coming in and putting... a bit of this paint kind of everywhere. The modeling paint over top of that. I have like an excess bit of modeling paste here, so I'm just moving it around. And these brushes do it all for you. Look at that. They're making the texture. I don't even have to worry if it comes out as a blobby bit because it will fix it. Oh, that is easy. That is like paint and grass. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right. Put that in water to soak. Um, those brushes are best if you wash them out immediately. So I've just put mine in my water tub because it can last for about 30 minutes in a water tub. And I think we might be done in 30 minutes. I know I had a plan to do like a white house here, but I don't think it will sell it well. What, how does that look? Let's remove the uh, design board now, which we should have done before adding the paint. Oh, I've got to clean Mum's design board. Before tomorrow. It's simple but different, and it's got an interactive layer to it. So let's stick our fit some pieces together and let this dry so we're going to put that somewhere where it doesn't matter if a bit of modeling paste gets on it we are going to flip it over after we stick everything down and um get it to um and just do a bit of patchworking with extra thick tape the very end so we're just going to come in now Just gonna cut the center. Now that's the top one, and it's got that piece that's gonna have the blue bit there, so we don't want the white 
We don't want the hole to be too big. Now we need Yes, Jen was on the Zoom this afternoon. How good you are at um predicting things, Dad. Yes. I didn't get to finish my pasta because Nana Was and, this yours? Yes, Nana and Jim called when I was eating mine. Well there's more in the fridge, I'll leave you They called to talk to Amelia and then they decided that they wanted to have a conversation with me. Aren't you blessed? Mm-hmm. I can't talk to my Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just guilt me on a live? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. That was my plan. <laughs> what was my success? <laughs> yeah. Next time she calls, I'll make sure you have the phone then, Dan. Thanks. So then you get. A lovely relative experience. So, hi, Mummy. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be a bit subtle about that one for you. Yeah. I hope she will be. <laughs> Thank you for eating my dinner in front of me. <laughs> There's even pasta there. You're adding insult to injury. <laughs> I was coming out to try and make you feel better, but it's okay. <laughs> I didn't know how to do a dinner like that. It was technically not that bad. I got two mouthfuls in. <laughs> no. That's pretty good. It's great. I'm glad I'm a good cook. I don't think the pasta was fully done yet, though. I will admit, it probably could have needed a few extra minutes. But... No, I was running late home. I didn't know if he was going to be hungry when I got home, and he was. Which now that I say that out loud, and the fact that he's 17 and a boy, I should have known that he was going to be hungry. Uh, I don't know. We were discussing the violin, which has become a viola. Yeah. Um, he said that one thing was positive was that um, apparently he's got the right hand holding thing for the bow mm. so he's he can hold the bow really well it's just that his fingers are too long for the bridge well, can get a viola. Yeah. this is like a was buying a violin and bought a viola yes 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 i have heard that story too today They're having great times in the Red Shaw household. Noah's fingers are too long for his second instrument that he decided to pick up this year. But, uh, live with that. Move on and adapt, as they say. Right, there we go. So we've got that stuff. Now, we cut the holes out because this is going to be very heavy. We don't want to weigh down our page because our page background is paper, pen and paper. Don't get anything wrong. Our pen and paper is quite thick. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, so it just needs, and then that was the wrong piece, this one here. And then... One minute, please. Boop. There we go. I know I should have used the trimmer, but nope, it'll be all good. And then, so 
this here is going to be our journaling block if you're not a keen journaler can understand um like stick an extra photo there Oh, that's okay, okay. Thank you. Hello. Right, so we're just coming in. I'm sticking this one down. And then let's, with Mum's new pencil. Oh, this is very long. So, fakey photo. Four by six inches. Fakey photo. Four by six inches. And then, whoop! Look how good that pencil is. Oh, it's like a miracle. Let's put some tape on the back of our flip, which is the main part of our page. And then. And then we're going to put that one there. Oop, bit of modeling paste. We're just going to come in and actually, I'm going to put a little bit more modeling paste on the page. I know, probably doesn't need it, but I think it does. And then let's put some glue on the back of our. Chippy cup. Okay. Now, before we add more modeling paste to make the page even wetter than what it is, let's just flip it over. And this is where we need to add in our patchwork a little bit. Come in. If you're at home and doing this, I suggest waiting 24 hours, then adding this bit on the back, the band-aid bit. Just so then you don't squeeze any of the modeling paste out on the other side. But it is up to you. You can band-aid it immediately, depending on if you have kids and all the rest of it. And you know that they're going to try and pick up and play with your page. Which I get completely. I was one of those terrors. Right, and then let's just come in a little bit more modeling paste. I was going to say we didn't do much mixed media tonight, but. Now, the modeling paste we have on the page might suggest otherwise. You know what I'm feeling? I think I'm out of long wing face for the sake of it now. Okay. There you go. Pretty good, I think I'm done. Um, done. Yeah, see, look, it's an interactive 
Wowzers. See, this is a spot for journaling. We gave lots of room. For journaling? Yeah. Or you can stick an extra photo or two there. Okie doke. You know, when you've got those blurry ones that you only cut down to like one inch by one inch, you're like. Uh, I'll never take blurry photos. No, you are an excellent photographer. Yeah, I'll even give someone uh, advice on how to touch your photos up the other day. Ooh. My photography is just that perfect. Wow. Well, you know. I'm not. You missed your calling, obviously. Obviously. Um, Mum said to remind everyone about the extravaganza on Sunday night. Oh, yes. We have an extravaganza on Sunday. Uh, so extravaganza is uh, basically we just want to clear out some stock and we're going to give it a ridiculous price and yep, tell you be. about it on Facebook and you tell us if you want one. Yep, in the comments section. Basically, first in, first rest, first rest. Um, we're getting rid of a lot of uh, art by Marlene cutting dies, studio light stuff. Yeah, backs, just, we need more room in the shop. We'll be frank. We need room. Uh, so stock has to go. That's how it works. Can I make a request for a sympathy card oh. sometime over the weekend? Yeah, sure we can. Nine o'clock month tomorrow we're going to do. We are back. Ten o'clock's the class, but we're going to do the uh, weekly roundup. Yeah, weekly roundup. We're back at nine, and then ten o'clock you've got card making, which is probably what? And then 3.30, it's a surprise. 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 Uh, surprise so if we show up. <laughs> no, it won't be. Uh, we will be. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, 9 a.m., weekly roundup. We're going to love you all. Uh, the show begins. What time does it start? 7 o'clock, Sunday night. No, no. Seven o'clock Sunday night. Be there or be square. Um, Seven o'clock we... Queensland. Queensland time. We are Queenslanders. If you can't tell by the accent, um, apparently I sound like a bogan. I think I sound amazing. Oh, we have the word chippy bogan now. You have the word chippy bogan. I should just hang it as a mate necklace. No, it's a chippy mini word called bogan. Yes. I aim to be scrapping all weekend. That sounds excellent, Deborah. So we'll see you all tomorrow and have a great day. Bye.